There you go now fellas. Eventually made it back to Australia. Took me a couple of days. It got offloaded the first day. Which was a real pain in the ass, yeah. Um, one girl had sat on there already and I was just about to get on board and they go, nah, you're out. Too much weight. So, had to have another night in bangers. Um, it was alright, I only paid 400 baht for the night. And uh, here we are, doing the travel story first and doing the tasting afterwards. That fucked you up, didn't it? Oh, here we go with the Tangare. And I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Export strength, London dry gin. One litre at 47.3%. Now that's what you call getting the duty-free bargain. And I just had to get it because I like gin and tonics. And so does Faye. Uh, so do most people. On a hot day, there's nothing like it. It's not that hot, though. I'll come back to a real bloody cold day. I've already got a wind heater on. I'm thinking of putting a bloody jumper on. I can't believe it. It's about 15 degrees out there. So what I've done is I've... Put a bit of lime juice in there, a slice of lime, and I'm going to give it a little bit more because it's so bloody strong. And the missus reckons I shouldn't be drinking too much. Anyway, Swept Indian tonic water. I've got to get something half decent, fresh. No use using an old bottle, flat shit. No. You drink it and you finish it. So that's what I'll be doing tonight. I'll be drinking that and finishing it. I don't think so. I'll be on me fucking ass. Last time I come back from uh, Europe, we had a mate look after the house, Stevie boy. And when I got back, he had a mate there, and I brought out a bottle of this, and the three of us drank it. Mark, I had a bit of a headache the next day. We were all smashed. We had the music blasting, we were singing. Yeah, it's really kick-ass. Like nearly 50%. It's a, a really good um, thing to remember that duty-free gin is a lot stronger than what you buy in a shop in Australia. We get the watered-down version. No flavour. This tastes fantastic. Mmm. You saw how much I put in with the ice. It's the perfect mix. I'll tell you, that is just deluxe. You can taste the gin. It's got the good... Herbs and botanicals is just sensational. One of the better gins in the world, I reckon, for the cheap ones. Well, it's not cheap, but it's not. It's definitely not nasty. All right, so that's what you do. And I lost me duty free when I went to Thailand. Can you fucking believe it? I bought a bottle of forty-six percent Patisse, French one, Perno. And like a perno, and I got to Thailand, and they said you can't take that through domestic. And I said to her, "Well, what do I do?" She said, "Well, you can put it in and book a hand lug, uh, book a hand luggage in, you know, in to go on the plane as luggage." And I went with a cheap airline, and it was going to cost me. 30 bucks or 33 bucks and the duty free cost about the same and I thought well fuck that I should have done it really when you think about it but I, I said fuck that I went out the front of the airport and I just started drinking it and I geez it was strong and I, I was going fuck if I drink any more of this I won't get back on the plane I won't let me in so I gave it away I gave it to a Thai guy dropping off customers in his van I just went and had a chat to him. He was fucking so happy. He thought I was trying to sell it to him first. He's going, no, I don't buy it. I said, no, no, I just want to give it to you, mate. I'm not going to fucking throw it in the bin. So he's one happy Thai guy. I bet you he would have been smashed that night. 46%. They're not used to it. Most of their stuff's at what, 38. 40? Same songs, 40. Down a few bottles of that over the trip. Anyway. Back home on the Tangare, it's going to be good drinking this. I've got another little bottle of Blue Sapphire. My wife can have the little one. I'll probably finish this before she finishes the little one. They're only nine bucks for the little one. I think this one was $38, $39, probably $39 Australian. Bloody good value, one litre. 
So it's like buying a, a bottle and a half of the 40% one, and that costs you 45 or something. So you, you're miles ahead. All right, and uh, I've got a little bottle of rum there as well, so we'll do a little video tomorrow. So I had a little two hours sleep and so I'm back on board. It's all happening. Hope everything's well, fellas. Enjoy your um, Christmas break. It's coming to a fucking halt. January's finished. Tomorrow, back into February. And we've been here for a year now. So, yeah, they've got plenty of tomatoes. I just made up a beef salad, Thai beef salad. Um, we just got to barbecue the beef and put it in with the tomatoes and the coriander and chilli, fresh chilli, lime juice, fish sauce. Yeah, I can't wait to eat it, actually. Because I'll tell you one fucking thing. When you get a dish in Thailand, it's cheap as buttons, but they're not big serves. So sometimes you sort of, ooh, I could have eaten two of them. But it's sort of like too much, but you know what I mean? So tonight it's going to be a big whopping beef salad. Thanks for coming.